All of these are downsides to surveys. We can't always be sure that respondents are answering truthfully. Even if surveys are anonymous, people don't always give the truth for some reason. It's probably a psychological thing. And oftentimes, without realizing it, we give biased answers. Everyone has their own bias based on where they grew up, the experiences that they went through, their beliefs and values. When respondents don't understand the questions, we get what's called response bias. That's why it's very important for those who write the survey to be very precise in their wording. And finally, some people just refuse to answer. They don't feel comfortable answering that or they're incapable of doing so. There might be a certain group of people who don't answer the questions. And therefore, the data that we get from the survey doesn't accurately represent them. When certain people refuse to answer, this is called non-response bias. Remember when we talked about constructs? Surveys are often used to analyze constructs. And like I told you, I analyzed the construct effort. As you've seen, there isn't just one definition of a construct. There are many. Therefore, it's crucial to use as subjective measurements as possible. Surveys really have to be carefully thought out and worded.